Tonight we're looking at how some Florida residents are choosing to go without homeowners insurance rather than pay the double digit rate increases. Yeah, tonight, investigative reporter Adam Walser talking with a local couple who made this decision years ago, but he also has a warning tonight from an industry insider. We bought in 2001 and we retired in 2007. This three bedroom, two bath home located in St. Pete Beach started out as Jimmy and Heather Riley's vacation home. They moved in permanently in 2007 when they retired, paid off their mortgage and renovated it from top to bottom. Like I said, we did everything, the, the, everything was done. But after hurricanes Charlie, Francis, and Wilma in 2004 and 2005 caused billions of damages to the Sunshine State. Their property insurance payment skyrocketed to $7,000 a year and didn't cover their pool or patio. Flood doesn't cover it and wind doesn't cover it. And that was with a $20,000 hurricane deductible. If the hurricane hit and it say $25,000 worth of damage, are we going to put a claim in for $5,000? I don't think so because then they're going to raise my insurance. So the Rileys decided to go bear, buying a bare bones homeowner's policy without wind or flood coverage. We had uh, money that we put aside and said, we're not spending this for anything else ex unless something happens to the house and then we'll save the money every year. We've been putting away 7000 a, a year for 13 years, so that's over $100,000. And that would have all been gone. I mean, gone. There's nothing. There was nothing around. It was given away to them, and they'll just keep raising my rates no matter what, even if they didn't have the claim. But going bare is not for everybody. If you have a mortgage, lenders require wind coverage and flood insurance if you are in a high risk area. And homeowners who do go bare need to have other money available just in case. We could have got wiped out the first year, and $7,000 wasn't going to help that much. It's a gamble Jimmy Riley believes is worth taking, since his land is worth more than his home. For the house, they may take you $300,000, $400,000 rebuild, but not $800,000. And that's what they're going to base oh, yeah. your premium well, on. That's what they're going to do, yes, exactly. One out of every five Florida homeowners. Mark Freelander is a spokesperson for the Insurance Information Institute, which is tracking a huge increase in the number of homeowners going bare. Today, we are approaching 20% of Florida homeowners not having a property insurance policy. He says rising insurance rates are to blame. The average cost of a home insurance policy in Florida today is running at about $6,000. That's 42% higher than just a year ago. Compare that to the national average rate of $1,700 a year. We recommend trying to find ways to keep your coverage and don't drop it. Freelander says before going bare, you should explore other options, including shopping around, bundling home, car, and life insurance, raising deductibles, and searching for discounts. And so you see it going bare as a last resort. Look at the big picture. Is it worth taking the risk that you could lose your home, which in most cases is the most valuable asset families have. Can you replace that out of pocket? Nine out of 10 homeowners absolutely cannot. For the few who can afford to and are willing to take a risk, the Rileys recommend it. If you are in a position to do it, why give an insurance company that's gonna look for every reason not to pay you, why give them your money? We wouldn't have to wait 90 days because the insurance companies have 90 days to respond to your thing. We could start next day and have cash to pay a contractor to start doing it. So you feel like this is one of the best decisions you made? It is the second best decision I made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm IT investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. We love it. Taking action for you. Interesting idea and the rising cost of property insurance. It's a topic we've dedicated, been dedicated to covering. You can find the links and all the information and all the stories right here on our website about the pros and cons of so-called going bare. It's on abcactionnews.com. You can also view all of our insurance stories recently by clicking on the Price of Paradise tab. Wendy. All right, thanks.